Hi everybody! Hi. Wow, the food looks good and smells amazing. What's for dinner? Looks like we have uh, pizza and plenty of it. Is this where your group meets every week? We have uh, rotating uh, uh, members uh, hosting the uh, group. And uh, usually the hosting group would uh, be uh, serving dinner. Uh, but for those uh, who are not uh, doing well in cooking, we welcome Taobao as well. Uh, Hilary, mm -hmm. a drink for you? Oh, yes, thank you very much. What is one unique thing about your group? It's the diverse background and how they're willing to share uh, the experiences we got in their personal lives. We really appreciate that. Yes, cheers to more intergenerational bonding. So important, especially today. Who's the newest in the group? That will be Lam Si. Let me introduce you to Lam Si. Hi. And the longest serving? The longest serving will be Catherine. Catherine? Tell us a bit of the history of the yeah. group. Oh, um, Bonfrey was uh, uh, formed post Alpha in 2018. And uh, in 2019, uh, Bonfrey was registered. That's cute. What was the inspiration behind the name Bonfrey? Bonfrey is very relevant because when you receive Jesus Christ, you're born again and uh, you're free from inherited sin. And the best part is that you experience, you experience eternal life. Jesus said in, seven, in John 17, 3, that eternal life is actually to know God, to experience uh, the relationship with Him. Denise, a little bird told me you've gone from being discipled and being a discipler and have taken over the reins of the small group leadership. How did that happen? Uh, it happened quite unexpectedly, actually. Uh, one of our co-leaders, she had to go um, and leave the group for personal reasons, so I stepped in. I was actually strongly encouraged to step in, but uh, I enjoyed the whole process and uh, I learned a lot just from leading the group. Has the journey mm. been hard? It's not been hard because the members here have been so wonderful. They're very supportive. They take turns to host at their place. Um, they take turns to facilitate the discussion. And everybody, everybody brings something to the table. So we enjoy each other's company very much. Back to you, Sam. During discussion, what do you hmm. all share and discuss? We shared about Bible study, but not just that, uh, uh, from informational angle. Uh, for us, uh, our experiences uh, has been the sharing of our uh, uh, lives, uh, experiencing uh, uh, our lives uh, with God. That sounds amazing and quite different from the traditional notion of small groups, only yes. doing Bible study. Uh, the, you know, the Bible study has its place and uh, there are many comfortable places where we are able to uh, do that. And um, with us to be transformational, we felt that the sharing of our experiences uh, uh, has uh, provided that uh, with the extra uh, refreshing uh, angle to us. What is one impact you think the Connect Group has made in your lives? Uh, my member Waylik ha has shared many and uh, Waylik? Hello, what's uh, one impact? Uh, I think it's, uh, to be honest, quite difficult to get the, to, the, to attend cell group in initially, but uh, it's a good routine and uh, structure, discipline to join, and uh, and uh, we go to church to get download. And this is through sharing with my brother and sisters in Christ that we can uh, find time to self reflect. So actually, right now I actually attend this self group more than I meet my regular old time friends lah. So uh, uh, yeah. The Bible verse. What Bible verse do you think describes the group's culture well? The Bible verse uh, that comes to my mind right now that uh, we all like as a connect group here will be probably represented by uh, Ephesians uh, chapter 4 uh, where uh, we want to be uh, you know, the, uh, experiencing uh, in humble and uh, uh, loving ways. If you could choose a superpower to have to do something more for your group, what would it be? This group is uh, born and free and, and reborn again, uh, born again. Uh, we have a grateful heart uh, and that uh, generosity and, and power of love has always been something that uh, we appreciate. Speaking of hope, what are your hopes for Born Free looking even further ahead? I think it's to lead our lives uh, in a Christ-like manner and perhaps uh, influence others and be the leaders among other uh, 
small groups and perhaps a facilitator uh, of the class meeting agenda. Last question, any last words for the people you are watching this? I would say that uh, uh, we sh uh, if I'm younger, I would want to join a uh, connect group uh, faster mm -hmm. and that uh, don't be uh, scared, don't be shy, join the connect group. Alright Sam, thank you very much for your time and that's all the questions we had. Thank you very much. Bye!